June is shaping up to be a fantastic month for original streaming content. What do we have to look forward to? Stay tuned and I'll tell you the hub bub 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 bubby bub 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 bubby. Hello and welcome to Stream On, the show that keeps you up to date on everything happening on your favorite streaming platforms. Well, June is here, that means the start of summer, which means vacations, road trips, lazy weekend afternoons, and I know you'll want to be spending some of that time watching some great new original TV shows and movies. So what's coming out in June? Well, this month we're going to start off with Crackle, which we don't ever do, and that is because on June 3rd, the sixth season of Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee will be released, and I could not be more excited. I love this show. It is my absolute favorite thing to stream. I love the interaction between Jerry Seinfeld and his guests. This season is going to have six episodes, and speaking of guests, we're going to have some real heavy hitters, including Stephen Colbert, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, Jim carry among others and since we're talking about comedians and cars getting coffee I was just made aware of a kind of copycat show called Spark Bench with Steve Buscemi no joke uh, it is on AOL Yes, America Online still exists, and apparently they have enough money to create original programming. The channel is called AOL On, and you can find it on your Apple TV, you can find it on Roku boxes, it's also available on iOS, Android, and Windows devices, or you can just go to the website, although I wouldn't recommend it, their page layout right now is a mess, but Park Bench with Steve Buscemi is a interview style talk show, just like Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. They have a second season coming out on June 18th, and they will have interviews with guests ranging from Elvis Costello to Triumph the Insult Comic Dog to John Oliver. And it's apparently a pretty decent little show. It was nominated for an Emmy this past year for Best Outstanding Short Form Nonfiction Program. And who else was in that category? You guessed it, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. So moving on to Netflix on June 5th. The new show Sense8 will premiere, 12 episodes. Very excited about this one. It's from the mind of the Wachowskis. You know them from the Matrix trilogy. And the Wachowskis created, wrote, executive produced this show and directed a good number of the episodes. And I gotta say, the last couple movies that they've released, yeah, I haven't really done anything for me. Not too interested. But from this trailer for Sensei, they've got me hooked. This is about eight people whose lives are connected in that they can exchange memories and, and feeling and experiences and straight up switch places, it seems like. So it seems really cool and I'm excited about finding out more. On June 12th, the wait is over. That's right, the smash hit Orange is the New Black is back for a third season of 14 episodes. You'll be able to catch up with Piper and the rest of the characters that are locked up at the Litchfield Penitentiary. And I can already see some binge watching in your future. On June 26, Netflix is releasing the music documentary, What Happened Miss Simone. This is about the R&B singer Nina Simone, who is most famous for her iconic renditions of the standards. I put a spell on you. Cause you're mine. And of course, feeling good. And I'm feeling good. This documentary debuted at the Sundance Film Festival and Netflix purchased it there, the exclusive rights, so that it will be released for Netflix subscribers. And somebody at Netflix must really have an eye for these music documentaries because it was just last month, at the end of May, that they released the Bob Weir documentary, Bob Weir from The Grateful Dead. So now we have a new one to check out, What Happened, Miss Simone. And last but not least, Netflix is giving us on June 26th a new series out of the How to Train Your Dragon franchise called Dragons Race to the Edge. This is a continuation of the show that was on Cartoon Network previously. It had two seasons. The first one was called Dragons Riders of Burke and the second was called Dragons Defenders of Burke. 13 episodes on June 26th. Jay Brochel and the rest of the cast are back and I have a feeling some kids will be excited about this one since they'll be out of school at this time but also some adults will be into it as well because I love the How to Train Your Dragon franchise so I would definitely be checking this one out.
There you have it. That is the new original content that will be released in the month of June. Look out for another video I'll release about the existing TV shows and movies that will be released on Netflix in June. And also keep your eyes peeled for some reviews coming up, not only of these shows and movies that we talked about today, but I've also got some catching up to do for stuff that was released at the end of May. So until I see you next time, stream on, stream on. Stream.